This is Captain Andrew, the voice of South Jersey Fishing with your Marine and Fishing Report on 98.7 The Coast. We had a huge fishing weekend, folks, so let's delve into all the reports. In the upper end of the county, Boulevard Bait and Tackle is still reporting monster stripers in the Sea Isle Surf, mostly caught on clam, with releases of fish up to 47 inches. Sea Isle Bait and Tackle reports the big fish of the opening day flounder tournament was 5.6 pounds, weighed in by David Miller. Eric Butter wandered into some nice-sized weak fish while fluking the back bays behind Sea Isle City. In Wildwood, summer flounder ruled the roost this weekend. Captain Stan from the Sailor's Delight saw plenty of action. Most of the fish were keepers. Brian landed a nice 23-inch mud marlin on Sunday morning, with his bow Judy catching even more. Reports from Wildwood indicate that though the bite wasn't great, most fish landed were of keeper size, and it was a great keeper-to-throwback ratio. In the Delaware Bay, Eddie Nelson of Offshore Eddie fame landed a beautiful 36-inch drum, and Charles Rice caught five drumfish up to 61 pounds, releasing all of them. There are still drumfish in the bay and in the surf. Just do yourself a favor if you're fishing from a boat and fish away from the armada. In the offshore, we have some new life with tilefish and tuna coming to the dock in Cape May, as reported by Jeff Osinski. Now, a friendly reminder today comes from Tony DeMeglio of Cape May Sport Fishing about the invasive Chinese mitten crab. The key identifier of these crabs are its furry claws and legs. These invaders can be found in both fresh and salt water and have been identified in New Jersey. If you encounter one of these crabs, please do not return the crab alive. Do some homework online to familiarize yourself with this species. Now that's all I have for you today. Tune in every Wednesday and Friday morning at 8.35 a.m. And if you would like to sponsor this fine radio broadcast, please contact Kim at CoastalBroadcasting.com. And remember, if you do miss a report, you can always find it on YouTube after the airing. Have yourselves a great day, tight lines, and good fishing.